Hey, I'm Sarah from Arizona. Please like and subscribe. I was born a spoiled and beautiful girl. Everyone invited me for my beauty and family. Sarah, you are lovely, and you have a father and a mother who love you and each other, and they also have lots of money that you can buy anything you think of. But for me, my father and mother are in quarrel every day, and they treat me harshly, and they continuously suffer from financial problems. I'm so sorry, Laura, about that, and I hope your family gets better than this. Since I was a little girl, I have wished the best for everyone, and I simply accepted such things. I was not angry at what my colleagues said, and I supported those who had problems, like my friend Laura, even though I knew how much she hated me. My mother loved me very much and would have liked to see me as a famous model. She had always dreamed of that, and when she gave up, she wanted to see me here instead. My mother was lovely, and I was like her in that. But with time she gave up seeking to achieve her dream, and she also worked a good job and received a decent salary. Listen, Sarah, I love you so much, and you know that, and I want you to be a famous model. Your father and I work all day. So we can provide you with everything you need. All you have to do is take care of yourself and your appearance and fitness so that you can achieve this dream. I will be happy when I see you, Miss. I want to be proud of you. Well, Mom, I also had that dream, so I've always heard you talk about models fashion. I also think I was born with that passion. My mother smiled and said I am very reassured. I am sure you will achieve what I dreamed a lot and failed. Years passed, and I was in high school. I still care about my fitness and appearance, and my colleagues still look at me as a spoiled beauty and think I am arrogant. However, I was not like that. I dealt with everyone simply and spontaneously. I did not consider for a moment that I was more beautiful than any other girl. All I wanted was to achieve the dream that my mother and I had always dreamed of. But the problem is that my mother has become overweight because she is no longer interested in sports and no longer cares about her fitness. All she did was watch food programs on TV. Every day she made new food that we didn't know before. My father was furious because my mother had become another woman than the one he knew. She was graceful and beautiful. Now she is a fat woman, she is barely moving and no longer shares my dad his interests as they were in the past. All she cares about is food. My dad talked to her a lot about eating a healthy diet and exercising, and she always made it up, but in the end, she didn't do anything. Jack, I prepared a surprise for you and Sarah. Look at the dining table, I've prepared a portion of great Indian food for you. I'm sure you'll like it. I saw it today on TV and decided to surprise you with it. Come to the table. My father was outraged when he heard these words. He looked at my mother and said, I am tired of this life. I no longer hear anything from you except about food, this is an Indian dish, this is a Chinese dish, and this is a Moroccan dish. There is nothing left in our lives but food. Look at yourself in the mirror, you are a different woman from the one I knew. This was the first time my dad spoke this way to my mom and, the first time I saw them fighting. I tried to end this fight, but I failed, and it ended up that my father left us and went to live with one of his co-workers, who became his girlfriend. My mom was sad because she had lost my dad and all she did to forget about it was eat and drink so she could forget. Unfortunately, everything in my life changed. My mother was not interested in me, I felt she had begun to hate me. She was looking at me and telling me, also, you eat a lot but do not gain weight, but gaining weight was easy for me. I tried to convince her that it was because of the burning rates that may differ between her and me. I was indeed eating a lot, but I also exercised constantly and kept my fitness, and if I noticed an increase in my weight, I would control it. Unfortunately, my mother and I constantly quarrel for reasons I do not know, but always my mother caused reasons. Once, we were arguing in the market until an older woman came in and said to me, listen to what your mother says and don't make her angry. She is an older woman who can't stand this argument, and maybe she also can't stand hunger and may need more pasta. Of course, the older woman was making fun of my mother. I got angry at the older woman's words, and my mother was also mad. She almost quarreled with her if the security had not intervened. My mother blamed me for what happened. Did you see it? You are the reason for all this, you have become a big girl. People looked at me as fat and a significantly older woman, even that older woman made fun of me because I wanted more pasta and mozzarella. When I get back in shape, no one will be able to tell that I am your mother, they will think I am your little sister. I laughed and said to her, Mom, I hope so, and I will be happy when they think you are my little sister. I love you so much, and I love to see you in the best way. Unfortunately, my mom thought I was making fun of her and quarreled with me. This was repeated almost every day, 
I began to think of moving to live with my father. Still, I was afraid of treating his girlfriend, as I did not know her, and also did not want to leave my mother alone because I love her very much. One day I had a car accident while returning from school, and I was taken to the hospital. My mother was shocked and very worried when she was informed that I had a severe injury in my leg. My mother cried a lot and was terrified, but the doctor reassured her and told her I would be fine. I just needed some time. I'm sorry Sarah. I trust you'll be fine and become a beautiful miss. I was happy to hear that from my mom, who also apologized for what she did with me. I discovered that my mother loves me very much. Her bad behavior towards me was because of her psychological state after my father's departure. I'm sorry mom, I thought you no longer wanted me to be a model or a miss. My mother told me that she loves me very much and will support me until I achieve my dream. I recovered after a few months and moved to university. I started working as a model, and all of that was with the help and support of my mother. My mother also changed her life regime and turned back into the graceful and beautiful woman she was. Finally, the day came when the big dream came true and I won the title of Miss USA. I am thrilled with what I have achieved and proud of myself and my mother.